Good morning, my loves. I'm super excited because I am currently in Tanzania. Just got here with National Geographic. But before we get into day one, since I know everyone's gonna ask how they flew me, here we go. My flight was at 6 a.m., which did not bother me because I didn't sleep. They flew me business. I had my girl Tiana Taylor, like two seats ahead of me, lots of mimosas and champagne, good food, and good movies. I landed in Amsterdam airport and I did want to go to the lounge but had no time. Tried to watch Barbie again but just couldn't get through it without crying so after we successfully landed someone was there with the Nat Geo sign and we followed her with VIP services we didn't have to wait in any lines and it was amazing. We had a pretty long drive to our first hotel room they came with welcome drinks which was just so nice but I couldn't have any because I'm lactose and then we got to our rooms how beautiful we were gonna go to dinner but i decided to just stay inside because i'm tired and just order room service now let's get back to day one a literal manifestation come true and i'm about to go to one of the premieres for their new documentary a bonus life different screenings different activities this is one of my first press trips I actually did my first one last month on a trip with 30 TikTokers. And I'm so excited to show you guys what is in store. I'm about to do a little makeup. I got this from House Labs. They actually sent me full collection of foundations. I hope that this one is the right color because I was just packing. Like, not really paying attention. And some of the colors, like, see how it's basically my color, but it's not there yet. They have to warm up on your skin. Trust the process. I'm like hearing all this ruckus outside on my roof. And then I see like three monkeys jumping around, climbing on my roof. I cannot wait to go outside. This is Stay Naked Quickie Urban Decay. I'm not gonna do too much because I am Tanzania, so it's hot, but I'm gonna look cute. I'm not saying that I'm not cute, bare face, but no, we're gonna do a little something, something. I have like 10 minutes. I have TikTok, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, but I don't have a YouTube base, and I'm really excited to see what this brings and the different supporters to interact with. So, I'm excited. This is Laura Mercier. It's a little white on me, I'm not gonna lie. What am I gonna do? When I get back, I'll get another, but this is what I have for now. This is NARS Seafront. So I haven't seen Barbie, but everybody's like, you will love it. On the plane, I tried to watch it. Why did I start crying as soon as it came on? And I was like, oh no, we're gonna watch this later. I am not in a crying mood. I talked to my friend and she's like, yeah, I cried on it like four times. I was like, yeah. We're gonna turn this off. Hi, girls. I need to hurry up. What time is it? I have two minutes. You guys are gonna watch the growth in me on this YouTube because I'm gonna get this late stuff together. Like, it's as like, natural as possible. My eyebrows are actually like pretty far from each other, so I like to make them a little bit closer. I was talking to a makeup artist because you guys know I'm a model. And my last makeup artist, she put my blush up here. But I've been putting my blush right here and in the middle, like, um, I think it's called Duyen makeup. And I like how they do that. They make it a little rosy right here. And she said that I can pretty much put my blush anywhere. I was like, okay, pardon. A lot of times makeup makes me look ashy and washed out. So this helps a lot. And my, oh my gosh. There's like a crystal from my Half Magic photo shoot where they like put crystals all over my face. This is the Better Than Sex. I actually modeled for them as well. I love that brand. For the outfit, I think I'm gonna do this cute little red dress that House of CB sent. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear red much in the trip because we're doing a lot of safaris and you can't wear bright colors. So this may be my only chance. I'm officially five minutes late. It's so hard getting dressed by myself, to be honest with you. Twist it. Okay. I'm in. The arms through. Okay, this boob area is so small. Pretty cute. And I guess it's only right that I do red. Charlotte Tilbury, Ruby Blair. Mm. 
probably shouldn't have done that because of mosquitoes, but it's too late. <laughs> literally smell like a snack. I'm gonna have to go get some mosquito spray. Okay, everything's getting started and they just text me join whenever, but I know that means hurry your ass up, so let's go. I'm trying to figure out why my phone won't fit in my purse. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Are you kidding? Okay. Actually, Nat Geo got me a backpack, so I'm gonna go get that. So cute, right? Oh, I got a little hat. Oh, how adorbs. <laughs> this might be a thing, I'm gonna keep this in the bag. Oh, binoculars, a portable fan. Oh my gosh, adapters. Okay, now we're gonna go. Yes, I forgot to bring shoes. I'll go buy some soon. This is not a vlogging camera. It's actually big as hell, but I'm testing it out to see how it will do vlogging. Asante. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little, a little. I'm learning. In And this is a, you know, impending disaster because... After the Bugs Life premiere, we got to ask the producers and directors a couple questions. After mingling and eating, I went to go chill by myself for a bit. I tend to do this a lot. I love mingling with people and socializing, but I also need my little recharge time. And plus, it was such a cute area to get some content. After lunch, we have four options of activities, coffee making, shopping, going back to the crib, or what I chose to do. So we have people with disabilities, most of them they are deaf, and other they can't walk, they use a wheelchair during working. So we have managed to employ more than 52 individuals here, and 32 of them we are disabled people. So we produce here, then we are selling at our gift shop. I would like to teach you a few sign language greetings can shake your hands like this. <laughs> Say jumbo jumbo. How are you? Fine. <laughs> oh good. If somebody has done a great job, congratulations for a good job. This is the weaving department. Jumbo jumbo. Jumbo jumbo. jumbo. This is actually a diff, so she can't hear. So this is the weaving department. This is where we are making different fabric by using the cotton material. And dye to obtain different colors. So this is a table mat. This is a single blanket. No, not because I don't know how to fit it in. I, I, I told you to stick the tie so, and it stuff it when you get home. Oh. I shouldn't be encouraging you buying any stuff. No, what is it? Another product here. We have the necklace. Them glass bottles and some broken glasses. After that, start shaping them. Shape them according to what you want. I just wanna know that you're my friend. I just wanna know if you're dead. I know I've been away.
never lie to you. Step and spray on my gun, I'm looking all kinds of loot. So you know what I like, what would you like to do? After the activities, we had another premiere for the film, Queens. We've got so many scientists, researchers, drivers, so many people that help us do what we need to do. When you're a crew that's largely from the West or foreign, um, I feel there's always a bit of a bridge. And my role on the film just, and I didn't realize it at the time, but it's such a privilege. I was able to be almost like that bridge. I speak the local language. Um, the access that we were able to get the information from the scientists and the researchers if anything was going down. Erica's new film, which she's just finished, is going to be taken in the Swahili version to the um, villages, but Curiosity Stream have also made versions in other languages, so her work will be seen internationally. It was just that, like, mind-blown, wow, how did we get here moment? I'm, I'm just looking back and going, this, there's no way this is real. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and it would have been this elaborate dream and I'll be so disappointed. But thankfully, it, it wasn't. Um, and so even sitting next to her, like my word for her is my sister, because we've got through this thing together. So, yeah. But the first time I've been very incorporating indigenous voices for the use of storytelling. Uh, sorry, the too. Kind of question, but um, I've watched National Geographic since I was just, and it just means a lot to me. What you've done, what you guys have done, incorporating the indigenous voices is a big deal, and I think that's just so major, and thank you so much for doing that because it means a lot to people all over the world, all women's heads, women's heads. It touches. Plus, we have the beef fish tacky. Sit away. I'm just trying to get my clothes on. 